<sighs> Hi, everybody. It's me, Jordan Long here. And today, Jordan says, I'm going to talk about, well, something that, you know, usually happens. Now, this happens every once in a while. Jordan said, it's not a bad thing in itself. But it tends to go, you know, tends to go like something like this. Hey. Do you know Kung Fu? No, I don't. How about Karate? No. How about Jiu Jitsu? No. How about Taekwondo? I don't know any of the martial arts, Jordan says. Now, there are some people in this world, not all of them, who believe that because a lot of the martial arts were, you know, invented over in Asia by various different people and then perfected over the years, they have an idea, not much of a stereotype, but they have an idea that um, that everybody knows them. Unfortunately, Jordan said, I never learned any of them. I know how to fight like a nerd, like, like, you know, by default, punching and kicking, you know. But everybody knows that pretty much. Um, you might say that some of the stereotypes... Jordan said if it is a stereotype, but it's not that it's, you know. But it is something that some people assume that you know because you happen to be a certain race. In my case, Oriental, and that comes with a lot of stereotypes. But then this again, you can make that argument for a lot of other races. And I assure you that the stereotypes behind each one of them is not needed, is incorrect. And it's, you know, based on false information and a lack of understanding. Now, Jordan said another one of those ones always come up is, Hey, do you use chopsticks? Um, no, I actually use a fork and a knife and a spoon. You know, I never really could get do the chopstick thing, Jordan says. Never really caught on with me. And yeah, that's another, um stereotype or assumption because a lot of the oriental races pick and choose which one all invented chopsticks now it's going to be argumental about who came up with it first but they all started using them you know and this was before other before forks and knives and spoons and other utensils were eventually invented um but everybody assumes that because they made them or they used them at one point or still use them in some cases, they assume everybody does, you know. And I could go on record to say that, uh, you know, that I never could catch on with them and I don't use them, you know. And the last one goes like this. And the last one's more like this. You know, and no, whatever you're going to ask me, if I'm good with, don't ask. Are you good at mathematics? No, not good at all. The only way I ever got past, at, you know, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing was by using a calculator, okay? I am not that good with mathematics. I don't know what you heard about my about me or my race, but we're not good at mathematics. Some are, some aren't. Yeah, there are some people who are good at mathematics, you know, they can do adding and subtracting and dividing a multiple, you know, and multiplying in their head, and they're really good at it. And then there are those who have to use a calculator. But, you know, the point is, Jordan said, just because some of us happen to be good at it didn't mean everybody was good at it, you know. Like my sister, my Jade, my younger sister, she's good at it. I mean, she's a whiz when it comes to it. But, you know, not everybody is good at it, you know. So those are just stereotypes or what well, I call misconceptions, you know. Because the difference between a misconception and a stereotype is, is that a stereotype is based it on ignorance and based it on, you know, superiority. You know, somebody sees somebody do something so then they assume that everybody does that one thing or says that one thing, and then they, you know, try to make themselves 
be better by saying, well, I would never, I don't do that. So it's not a stereotype because it's more based on misconceptions or misassumptions. I'm Jordan Long, and I hope you enjoyed this video.